State Department of Environmental Conservation recently confirmed a case of chronic wasting disease in upstate New York. Meteorologist Leanne Beyer will learn more about what this disease is, how it's spreading, and what it means for hunters and nature lovers. She joins us now in the studio with the latest. Leanne. Yes, Jeremy Hurst, who is the Game Management Section Head at the DEC, describes chronic wa wasting disease, or CWD, as a transmissible disease that affects the brain and nervous system of certain animals. The animals who are infected with this disease could be asymptomatic for up to two years, making it nearly impossible to, de to detect the disease. CWD is a, a really difficult and insidious disease. It is always fatal. There is no vaccine, there's no treatment for these animals. Uh, the only way to detect the disease is through a post-mortem test. While there's currently no strong evidence to suggest that chronic wasting disease can infect humans, it remains crucial for us to take this disease seriously and stay vigilant. But humans should be concerned because deer are such a valued resource for us uh, and uh, enjoyed by people just for their, their presence. We would see deer populations decline. We would see deer populations become less healthy. We would see uh, hunting families have to discard meat of infected animals. For the past 20 years, the DEC has implemented proactive measures to keep New York State free of chronic wasting disease. However, there has now been a breach as CWD has officially entered the state and has caused concerns for hunters. The main way that we anticipated chronic wasting disease could get into New York would be through hunter movement of harvested carcasses from other parts of the country where there is chronic wasting disease. And so our messaging has been for, for hunters to leave infectious material in the place where they harvested the deer. Even though the confirmed case was not found in a wild deer, Hearst emphasizes the importance for hunters to remain vigilant and watch for any potential symptoms. We have been collecting deer of these uh, symptoms looking uh, lethargic, looking emaciated, uh, walking around with some sort of behavioral abnormalities, maybe circling, head down, drooping, drooling, those types of things. They happen periodically for a variety of reasons, even pneumonia. Uh, and so we collect those animals, test them for CWD. Hunters and members of the public are encouraged to report any sick or dying deer, including roadkill deer, to the DEC so they can continue to stop the spread of CWD in New York State. In studio reporting, Leanne Beyer, News 8.